You are welcome to Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids. A series of cautionary tales for lovers of squeam. I call this tale Puppet on a Street. There is a rundown town called Dollsville with a theatre where actors never act. After the accident two years ago, it was shut down. The stage door was boarded up so that nobody could ever get inside again. But it wasn't an accident. They said it was, but it wasn't. The boy was found hanging from the roof rafters. Not by the neck, for then he would have been dead, but by the legs, arms and top of his head. And all he could say was... I can now. I can. I can now. I can. I'll never say can't again. They thought he was an actor because every time they tried to cut him free from the tangle of strings, he cried out in pain. But he wasn't acting. The strings were fused to his bones. They were a part of him. <laughs> the boy's name was Calloway. Calloway Can't was his nickname because when anyone ever asked him to do something, he always said, Can't. All right, go and do your homework instead. Can't. What do you mean, can't? You haven't brought your homework home? You've lost your pencils? Or your brain has gone on holiday without leaving you a note? Just can't. You mean you don't want to? Can't. OK, OK, let's go and help your mother with the washing up. Can't. Oh, how convenient. Go and tidy your room. Can't. What can you do then? Nothing. Calloway's activity of choice was always nothing. You see, his parents were both teachers, and Calloway didn't like teachers. Teachers were bossy and ordered him to do things he didn't want to do, like homework oh. and sport. And because they were also his parents, boring household chores. Lay the table, please, Calloway. Can't. There's no such word as can't. So what word did I just use then? Oh, listen. A whole sentence without the word can't. If all you ever say is can't, can't do that, you'll never do anything. You'll just tie your life up in knots. I'll never do anything you want me to do. Oh, Daddy, did you hear that? Two sentences without the word can't. This is so exciting, Calloway. You're having your first conversation. Mm, do carry on. Can't. Don't cheek your mother or I'll put you in detention. Can't. If you lay the table, we'll take you with us to see Pinocchio. <gasps> that was below the belt. Calloway really wanted to see that show. But if it meant doing something he didn't want to do... Can't. Won't. I'm not your puppet. I don't dance just because you're pulling my strings. Oh, three sentences. Has Christmas come early? Someone must have been reading Calloway's mind, because that night his dream of going to the theatre came one step closer. There was an urgent tapping on his window. An urgent tapping of nervous wooden fingers. Let me in, whispered a whistling voice outside. <gasps> Let me in. Huh? It was a clown puppet hanging from the sky by strings, its star-crossed eyes pleading to be let in. Calloway was furious. He burst into his parents' bedroom and thrust the puppet under their noses. Can't tell you how funny I think this is. What's going on? What are you talking about? Because Calloway is Mummy and Daddy's puppet, we'll give him a puppet to remind him all the time. Ha ha! Can't stop laughing. It's not ours. 
Well, somebody climbed onto the roof and hung it outside my window. <gasps> the Puppet Master. The Puppet Master? Ooh, scary. He taught me a lesson when I was a boy. Only stopped coming when I stopped saying can't. Maybe you should stop saying can't, too. Can't. Don't test him, Calloway. The Puppet Master makes sure that when you say can't, you mean it. He'll tie you up in such knots that you'll never be able to do anything again. If I can't see him, it's not true. Have you ever seen the Puppet Master in a Punch and Judy show? Can't. Doesn't mean he's not there, does it? But the next day, on his way to school, something stirred inside Calloway's coat. Oh, you! How did you... I threw you away. What do you want? We, we are brothers. brothers! Calloway dropped the puppet, but it didn't fall. He tried to run away, but it blocked his path. Puppets can't speak! When did you learn to do that? When, when I, was I was a boy. boy. Like you. Just then, Calloway felt a hand brush his shoulder. He spun round, but there was nobody there. Another hand on the other shoulder, only this time spinning round was not so easy. His brain was telling him to run to school, but Calloway had lost control of his body. This unseen hand was forcing him to turn the other way, towards the theatre. He looked up and gasped with horror. Soaring into the clouds were nine taut strings. They twitched and Calloway's feet jerked forward. They yanked him on, tangling him in trees and lampposts, dragging him through car parks and market stalls. Oi, stop that! Can't! It's not me! Never, Never say, say can't. can't. You'll only really encourage him. him. Who? Look up, Calloway. I am your master now. You can't say can't to me. Then the puppet master tugged Calloway's strings all the way to the theatre, where instead of watching the show, he appeared in it and closed it too, both on the same night. It took two days to rescue the life-sized marionette from the theatre. After the stage door had been bolted, Calloway went home with all strings still attached. Nowadays, when Calloway says can't, he can't. <laughs> Not unless the puppet master says he can. You can help your mother with the washing up today. After that, you can make the beds. Mummy, I, I am, am just, just coming, coming to, to do the washing, washing up. up. The house has never looked so spick and span because Calloway can and frequently does. <laughs> and that's how it is and will be forever and ever. <laughs>